So what is it that separates orangutans, chimpanzees and gorillas from their human cousins? Well, it's the ability to walk on two legs. Bipedalism, or the ability to walk on just two legs, is one of the most important things that separates humans from four-legged animals. Early scientists thought that it was our big brains that separated us from other primates, but it turns out that it's probably bipedalism that came first. If humans hadn't evolved to walk on two legs, our hands would never have been freed up to make tools, and so it's likely our brains wouldn't have evolved as well. Bipedalism also gave early humans a really good view of the surrounding environment, which means that bipedalism was a really favorable change in our evolution, but it also had some consequences. You see, walking on just two legs after having evolved to walk on four legs puts a lot of unwanted pressure on our spine, which is why a lot of people get back pain as they age. It also puts pressure on the joints in our body, which is why you often see athletes get injuries to their knees and feet. Another challenge of walking upright on two legs is that it's much harder for the heart to pump blood all through the body. And that's one reason why some people get varicose veins in their legs as they age. The veins expand because the heart doesn't have the pressure that it needs to pump that blood all the way back up. As you can see, bipedalism had lots of advantages for humans, but also some consequences. If you'd like to learn more about evolution, come along to the Evolution and Health exhibit here at the New York Hall of Science.